All right, hello everyone. Uh, this is a word I received this morning, um, Monday, February 20th. And, uh, you know, a couple thoughts I have are, um, you know, I've, I've stated that I've seen certain numbers a whole bunch of times and I keep seeing them. And in particular, the number 44, like so much lately, it's, it's insane. Um, I couldn't even name all the examples, but, uh, anyway, um, I guess in the Hebrew, it means my father is help, I believe. And then in the Greek, it means a fish hook. So it's, uh, pretty interesting given what's going on in, uh, you know, I, I, um, I just think we all need to stay ready. And uh, if you're someone who stumbled on this video and you don't know the Lord or you uh, are really into religion and haven't really read the Bible um, or feel like you don't necessarily have a relationship with the Lord, I would just encourage you to really seek the Lord and... Uh, you know, believe on Jesus Christ, and uh, we're all sinners. No one's worthy, not one. But, you know, when we do seek the Lord and come to the Lord and believe on Jesus Christ and that he died and rose from the dead for the forgiveness of our sins, um, you know, his Holy Spirit, you know, you'll feel it, and I'm feeling it now, and he'll come upon you and... Uh, you know, you'll you'll definitely want to move away from sin. So if you're someone who says they believe or just thinks they believe or you're lukewarm and, you know, you don't really read the, read the word, um, faith comes through hearing and hearing by the word of God. So I would encourage you just to really seek the Lord and read his word and do the best you can to move away from sin. Again, no one's not worthy, not one, not one of us. And your works don't save you. And when you sin, Jesus is your advocate. However, you cannot deliberately, willfully walk in sin and think that you can do whatever you want. I mean, because if you're doing that, I would question you whether you know the Lord at all. And, you know, you could look at previous videos and things I've posted. I don't believe you know, I'm saved or kept by works. However, um, there are definite consequences to, uh, you know, walking in deliberate sin. So um, anyway, um, I guess enough of that. And, uh, you know, again, as far as the, the seeing the numbers go, I know some people say it's not biblical and it's numerology and all this. Well, you know, I've been rebuking the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ for a long time. And when I really started, you know, coming to the Lord, I think the Lord gives us signs in multiple directions and from multiple places and constant confirmations and reassurances. And uh, I'm being filled with the Holy Spirit like crazy right now. So um, I'm going to attach a link to... It's a Strong's Concordance, and the link will come up, you know, to look up certain numbers and so forth. But you can look up certain words like uh, sorcery and witchcraft, and you'll find out that, um, you know, it's pharmakia. So um, lots of deception going on, and like I've said before, nothing new under the sun. So, all right, here's the word I received. There are many who have lost relationships with friends, loved ones, and have been shunned by others, made to feel ashamed and mocked for not trusting in worldly experts. I am the author and finisher, and those who place their trust not in me, but in lying deceivers will soon see, if not already, see the error of their ways. I will lift the delusion and cast fear upon the wicked. For the reward of those who deny me is not peace, but indignation, a fearful, tumultuous torment, lest they turn from sin 
and to the living God. The times before you are times of fulfillment, fulfillment of my word. I, the Lord, shall bring chaos to the world. For those given over to reprobation shall succumb to their de desires and receive their just due. The children of the living God shall not be among those, but will be shown the truth of my word and mercy in the sight of their Lord. The time of raising is so near, dear ones, be certain of this. I have told my children to prepare, to draw near, to study, to put away the desires of the world and to seek their God, to walk in spirit, maintain oneness with your Lord, for I am with you. Cast out fear, dear ones, and raise your hands high, for your Savior is stirred from his place, and the bridegroom prepareth. All right, everyone. God bless. In the name of Jesus Christ.